Hello and welcome to the continuation of the Beginner 2 Salsa Routine. As you can see, this is going to be an explanation of how the Beginner 2 Routine connects to the Beginner 1 Routine, which you have already seen for free on the internet. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go, an explanation of the He Goes, She Goes. So what's going to happen is the man starts with the lady in a dance hold and begins by doing a basic step. He's going to turn the lady in a clockwise direction with his left hand and he's going to lead her all the way around until he gets to a point right about here. Now what needs to happen here is he must continue to turn the lady around to face him as well as begin to lower her hand to make her step backwards or lead her to step backwards on her right foot. As he does that, he makes room for himself to step forward on his left foot and begin a turn to his right on his left foot while changing the handhold behind his back. Now here you'll see he's still holding the lady with his left hand and about there is where the right hand, the man's right hand, reaches behind his back, takes the lady's right hand, and as he does a continuous basic backwards, starts to turn the lady to her right to continue a natural turn for her, a right or a clockwise turn for the lady, completing the he goes, she goes, in what we call a right to right handshake hold. So now they're actually standing there in front of each other with a right to right handshake hold, which means that now anything is possible. They can do different combinations as we'll see in a minute. Okay, here we go. So one more time, he does a basic step with the lady, lifts his left hand in the air, turns the lady clockwise, drops the hand about there, and right about here, he changes hands and lets go of his left hand. His left hand is not on her anymore. He starts to go backwards, turn her, with his right hand, right to right handshake hold. There we go, fantastic. Now, just before we finish the explanation, we thought it'd be fair to tell you that this step is sometimes called the basketball turn, or we call it the basketball turn. And the reason is it looks like the man is passing the ball behind his back, the ball being the lady's hand, and it's kind of like, you know, as he comes up to an opponent, the opponent goes for his right hand, he passes the ball behind his back to his left hand and thus passes the opponent. So in a way, it looks a little bit like he's doing a basketball turn. And for those of you who do play basketball, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it becomes a lot easier because it basically makes dancing very, very much like what you normally do in your everyday life. So give that a try. See how we go. It's a little bit of practice. Yeah, have fun with it. Okay, here we go. From a different position, the man is going to now lead the lady into what's called a hair comb, where he takes a basic step with his feet, but with his hands, because he's holding a right-to-right -right handshake hold, he takes his right hand over her head like he's combing her hair and then combing his own hair. We're going to have a look at this step a few times to see exactly what goes on. And then from there, the step moves into a cross-body lead. Now, we're going to have a look at this step from a different angle now and just explain it for you again. Okay, here we go, one more time. So the man does a basic step, takes the lady's hand over her head, and about here, this is the important bit, he leaves his hand on a shoulder blade, taking her other hand over his head, leaving his hand on a shoulder blade. Now he takes the lady's left hand, now they're in a dance hold, perfect. It's a nice sneaky way to get into a dance hold, it's kind of funky, kind of cool, but now he's able to lead her into any step which begins from a dance hold. In fact, you'll learn that later on, that some steps will be from hand holds and some steps will come from dance holds, as he's displaying right now. There's a crossbody lead. He settles into his hip, moves off again. Okay, so let's have a look at this crossbody lead step again and explain how the man actually does this. So from here, he leads her into a basic step and about there, he moves his body weight from the right foot over to his left shoulder. At this point, the left shoulder continues moving and the body weight continues moving until he steps onto his left foot and there he stops his bo upper body. His lower body, his hips continue swinging across, transferring his weight over to the left foot, which is beneficial for timing, but also now he is leading the lady through his body rather than through his hands and we'll have a look at that later on as well. You'll see that as we take a closer look. At this point, the lady transfers her weight under her own power, she now pushes off the right foot and moves onto the left, right, left, and completes the cross body lead. 
Okay, so here we go. We're going to explain the crossbody lead lead in a little bit more detail. From there, when the man steps onto his left foot, he starts to compress his hip into the left foot, reflecting it in the lady. As he compresses, the lady does the same. She's now ready on her right foot to push off and move herself across, thus not being reliant on the man to actually drag her across or push her across she literally pushes from her own foot that she's standing on she moves across as if she's normally walking down the street and therefore you get a nice action and therefore you're on balance easy one thing we do want to address is the timing and the lead and follow in these sort of steps. So as you can see one more time from a back view of the man, you'll understand what we're talking about in a minute. The man takes a basic step forward with the lady onto his left foot one. The count is one. The second step is slightly out of the way for two because he's going to allow her to come through. So he's gotten out of her way. Number three is on his left foot, so count three, four. It'll be three, four, one, two, three, four. From here, he takes his right foot backwards for five, six, seven, eight. But this is interesting. He steps onto his right foot for five. Although he stopped moving, his upper body is still guiding and leading the lady across his line of dance. From here, he continues forward onto his left foot for six. And then he'll either bring his feet together or go forward towards the lady or to the side on 7-8. The right foot is going to step on 7-8. So as you can see, the timing is extremely important to understand which foot you are standing on for what timing. Because if you don't, you're just running through a bunch of steps without music, without really understanding the music itself. And really, what is dancing? Dancing is movement to music. And without music, there is no dancing. So again, one more time. One, two, three, four. The number four is very important. And five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you get the eight and hold it for eight. Okay, we're going to move into another step called the stop and go. But I'd like to demonstrate how we go from a dance hold into a double hand hold. When the man leads the lady across, right about here, as you can see, the man has moved his hand from her shoulder blade and moving it down her arm to grab a double hand hold position. Let's have a look at that again. One, two, three, four, five, let go and grab the hand. So he's moved from a dance hold into a double hand hold position and now he's ready to do the next step which is a stop and go. And as we said to you before, we're going to demonstrate and we're going to show you some steps will go from a dance hold position and some steps you must put the lady into a hand hold position to actually make the steps work. This um, next step we're going to show you is called the stop and go with a crossover. Now the stop and go by itself you can just do without a crossover but we're going to show you a crossover as well. Now what this entails is the man leading the lady backwards away from him and him stepping backwards into what we call a double back basic. You'll see that the couple will be doing a step which mirrors the feet. So the man will not go forward on his left foot He'll go backwards on his left foot. The lady's steps are absolutely the same. Also, while he does this, he's going to try and wrap the lady in to his right side. He's going to keep his right elbow firmly close and planted to his body. And his left elbow, or left hand, he's going to create an anti-clockwise rotation around the lady's head as she comes in and wraps into his right side, therefore beginning the next part of the step. Let's have a look at it in real time. Okay, one, two, three, four. Three, four is as she steps onto that right foot and he's wrapping her in. He's on his left foot for three, four. And now he's going to drop the hand and bring her back with him to do five, six, and he's going to let her out on seven, eight. Okay, so as he's let her out on seven, eight, he's now going to prepare to lead her backwards again in the same sort of step. But this time, he's going to do something a little bit different. Okay, so the man's going to lead the lady into a stop and go one more time, stepping backwards on the same feet, as you can see. But this time, he's going to actually move across into her space. That's what's called a crossover. And without even knowing what happened, the lady gets to stay on the other side because there literally is nobody over there to send her back. Okay, this time what we want to do is explain how the man actually does the crossover without getting tangled. There's a point in the actual routine or the step where he does let go of his right hand. So let's have a look at the step in real time. Here we go. And a one, two, three, four, the wrap in, five, six, push her out on seven, eight. One, two, let go of his right hand off the lady's 
left hand and that ensures that they move into a new position on the dance floor and so completing the stop and go crossover. Okay, next up we've got a step called the natural top where the lady gets whizzed around much like she did when she was a little girl. It's quite a fun step. The man leads her then into a crossbody lead. We'll do a real-time version first and then slow it down. So here we go. Whizzes her around, checks forward, and then brings her out of it with a crossbody lead. Okay, so doing it slowly, there's a couple of points we need to take note of here. First of all, the handhold. We're going from a double handhold or a single handhold in this case, and we're going back into a dance hold, as in right over here. This is going to be a dance hold right there. The reason this is very important is because we want to make sure that when the man is connected to the lady in the dance hold, with his right hand on her shoulder blade, the lead comes via the rotation of his body or his shoulders rather than him pulling her through his biceps. We don't want the man pulling the lady around because he will literally pull her off balance. What we do want is him turning and the lady comes with him quite easily. Continuing the step, the man takes his right foot and puts it behind. He takes his left foot and puts it to the side and then steps forward on his right foot again. Now we're going to take the lady into a crossbody lead and lead her out to the other side. There we go, two, three, and out, two, three, and finished like we did before. Okay, same step again, but this time we'll describe the lady's step. So the man leads the lady into a one, two, three basic, and from here the lady starts to move around on her left foot. So here we go, left foot to the side, the right foot goes forward, and then the left foot goes to the side again, pivoting to face the man where he takes her into a basic step and a cross body lead one more time to finish as we did before. Now this next step is really a bonus step and we're actually going to explain how the guy gets the lady to turn at the end of it. So natural top, cross body lead and he drops it into an inside turn. Let's have a look at that again. Okay, so if we talk you through the natural top, here we go, cross body lead and at this point as he begins the cross body lead there it goes he puts the lady onto her right foot and switches her by rotating in an opposite direction allowing her left foot to be ready to move forward now from here three step turn and we finish it let's have a look at it from a lady's point of view looking at it from the lady's point of view the man is going to take her into a natural top and then from here is going to take her into a crossbody lead. Now the steps for the crossbody lead. Lady's right foot back, left foot forward. She stands on the right foot. And now as she's on the right foot, the man's going to start to rotate his body and rotate her body in an opposite direction, exposing the left side. So he's actually advancing her left side. Left foot will come forward. And from here, he'll lift his hand and take her into a three-step turn. Now, if you are interested, we will be looking at a three-step turn and other steps later on in the series, and we will be looking at the elements associated with actually performing them well and actually staying on balance, both for men and for ladies. But for now, I think it's time to have a look at the whole routine from start to finish without any interruptions and see how it looks flowing to music. Me bautizó Fenomenal Celia dijo que yo te ah. 